Hello guys, this is Justine from the Chaddock Sound Society and today I'll be talking to you guys about how you can stay safe at home and within the community. Today I'll be looking into how germs spread and how does bacteria grow. So firstly, I'd like to introduce you to COVID-19 and the current pandemic situation. You guys may have heard of these vocabulary from the news or around the community. COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 19, 19 meaning the year 2019 where um, it had first been found and started. And the coronavirus has symptoms such as headaches, fevers, loss of taste or smell. However, a current issue is that there are some patients that are infected with COVID-19. However, they do not show any symptoms like listed over here, so that makes it harder for them to keep themselves safe and away from others, and they're themselves not aware that they are infected, and so this is a major factor that has made it even spread to a further community. And so there is a current situation of a pandemic where the disease is spread over the whole country or the world. And you can see that globally, COVID-19 is becoming a great problem. And so to keep ourselves and others around us safe, it's important that we take a few actions or precautions. And I'll be explaining to you why we should do this. So firstly, um, looking at how the virus spreads, you can see two major ways. Firstly, it's through droplet transmission, which means that a person who is infected can cough or sneeze. And so there are droplets of saliva and mucus that can be released to the air. And that leads to the airborne transmission where the tiny particles can be suspended and stay in the air for longer periods of time. They can also travel and the droplets are not seen. This is why you should make sure that you stay at least six feet away from people who you don't live with so that you can make sure that you do not have the droplets land on your nose, mouth, or anywhere else. So here you could see a video where it really shows how much droplets can be released from a person's coughing. And this really significantly shows why we should stay away from each other. Beyond just socially distancing, having six feet apart, it's important that you wear your mask because as you can see over here in this diagram I made, the mask has a filter which allows the droplets to be blocked from going into your mouth or nose. And so because this mask blocks these droplets, it can keep you safe from the virus. However, it's important that when you put your mask on and when you remove the mask, you don't touch the front of the mask because um, the front will have all of the different droplets that may have um, been collected from other people's coughing or other germs. And so if you touch the front of the mask, the germs will go to your hands. So there would be no point of keeping yourself away. And so it's important that you do not touch the front and try to only touch the side straps. And lastly, it's really important that you wash your hands frequently. You need to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or use a hand sanitizer of at least 60% alcohol. And you, if you not, are not sure about what percentage of alcohol there is in the hand sanitizer, you could always ask an adult or look at the labels and also make sure that you don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth because they are the places where um, the germs or virus can spread through. Now that we have looked into why we should keep ourselves safe and methods we can do that, a simple experiment you could try at home is to look at how much each the hand sanitizer, the alcohol, or just simply washing your hands can help protect you from the virus. So let's begin. So hello guys, um, this is going to be the start of the experiment we'll be doing. It's a short experiment looking into the formation of bacteria or growth of bacteria and looking at the presence of germs in our hands. So what you'll need is basically um, alcohol you wash your hands with and it should be of 60% or higher concentration. Right now here I have 
um, alcohol 70% solution that was created in my home. This is a hand sanitizer and it's a gel type and you'll need five plastic bags like you can see over here and you'll need some kind of um, labeling material such as this pen over it here. You'll need five pieces of bread and also for anything you could pick up some, something with or you could use a plastic glove like I have over here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put each of the bread pieces into each of the bags and you'll be doing this firstly with without washing your hands so after you didn't wash your hands for for example for an hour you could put a piece of bread inside a plastic bag you'll put another piece of bread after you wash your hands with soap and then another one just straight from the bed container another one after you wash your hands with alcohol and the last one after you wash your hands with this gel type of hand sanitizer. So I'm just going to show you a basic step of using one piece of bread and I'm going to do this after taking a bread straight from the container. I'll be using plastic gloves to make sure that it isn't contaminated with anything else and this will be the control which will be basically what you can compare all of the other results with and so let's begin make sure that there is no air that went in try to take out the air as much as possible yeah and here we have the first piece of bread and because I haven't um, washed my hands yet but I have just straight away taken this bread from the bread container without contamination, I'll be labeling as the control. We'll be repeating this for all of the different steps. So now you would have put your bread pieces after each washing your hands with soap, washing your hands with hand sanitizer, washing your hands with alcohol, not washing your hands, and the bread straight from the container. So now you could wait a few hours. If you have put it in the beginning of the day, you can check by the end of the day, and then you'll be able to see the results. If your parents are uncomfortable with growing this mold at your home, please continue to watch the results online here. When checking your results, you would have firstly noticed that the fresh and untouched bread straight coming from your bread loaf or container did not have any contamination, therefore it did not have any molds or bacteria that is growing on it. However, if you check the plastic bag labeled dirty hands, because the germs from your hands has spread onto the bread, there is a mold of bacteria that is growing. However, if you check the ones after you wash your hands with soap and water, or the one you have washed your hands with 60% or higher percentage of alcohol, you could see that there is no mold forming. This is because as you have cleansed your hand thoroughly, there would have been no germs that are spread from your hands to the bread. However, surprisingly, you would have noticed that the one that you have used the gel type hand sanitizer may have grown a mold. This is because it is not only the gel that makes the hand sanitizer to clean your hands, it is the other chemicals that are inside it, such as possibly alcohol. Therefore, it is important for you to not just think that when you use a gel type sanitizer, your hands are clean, but make sure that it has a high percentage of alcohol or other cleaning substances on it. If you are unsure, make sure to check with an adult as they can help you. And always keep in mind that you should wear your mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. And I hope this experiment helps you learn why it is important that you wash your hands. Thank you.